Thank you for joining us in the kitchen. And of course we were with Donatella Arpaia, but now we're gonna be in the kitchen with Phillips. And I'm gonna tell you something. I had reservations. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've gotta be frank with you. I went into the kitchen and Eric Tochterman and also Desiree, our sous chefs, were in the kitchen as we were waiting for our very special guest to be here, who was fighting the weather, I'm sure, Stephanie Roberts. And I was flipping out over this pasta maker. This Phillips pasta maker comes with a recipe book. It also comes with a cookie disc set. So you're going to receive with this all the discs to make pasta and cookies. Now, all you do is you put that dough, you put the flour and the water inside, but you can make it like custom pasta. So let's say you're on a gluten-free diet. You know what? Cut the gluten out. You can get gluten-free dough or, or flour and make your own pasta. If you're on a real health kick and you're trying to slim down and you want to eat maybe a wheat pasta, you can get wheat flour and you can make wheat pasta. You can add garlic, you can add seasonings, you can make uh, uh, pasta sheets to make ravioli. And when I tell you it's easy, Desiree ta taught me. 10 minutes from start to finish and you have fresh pasta. Please welcome uh, Stephanie Roberts and of course Eric's who's gonna be in the kitchen cooking up Hi. a store. Hi Eric. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Absolutely. Easy, easy. So and easy. And from Phillips, our friends who make a great air fryer, by the way. Absolutely. Uh, latest technology, contemporary, look and watch how easy this yes. is. All I need for fresh pasta is flour and water. In fact, Phillips makes it so user-friendly, they actually give you the measuring cup. Because honestly, this is one of those times where the ratio of liquid to flour definitely matters. So I go ahead and put in my flour. I choose whether I'm making a single or a double batch, and I start the machine going. Because in here, everything is going to happen. The mixing, the kneading, and then eventually the extruding of the pasta. I pour in my liquid. I can use water. I can use vegetable juices. I can use egg to make egg noodles. I can be as creative as I want. And that is the end of the work for me. Yes. That so, is absolutely so th now this it. is going to go in one direction, which is clockwise from our perspective. And it will automatically know when to go counterclockwise and when it's ready to extrude the pasta. Exactly. Because first it does the mixing. Yep. Then it senses when the mixing has occurred. Then it starts the kneading. And then the extrusion comes out the front. Now, here's the thing. This all happens within minutes. So I can have fresh pasta on the table literally in less time than I can boil my pot of water. Oh, and P.S. Spaghetti. You could do everything like penne pasta. You can do, if you want to, Alfredo, I mean, linguine. If you want to make cookies, it'll make cookie dough for you, and it'll extrude it to just the right shape to lay it out and cut it up and have fun with it. Okay, now here's the best part. I was at home getting ready for work, and I saw my show, and I'm going through my show, my notes and everything. I said, pasta maker, huh? Okay, who wants to spend time making pasta when they can go spend, you know when they have the grocery store buy one, get one, and you buy that dry pasta? Are we all, I do it all the time, too. In your life, you've never tasted pasta till you've tasted pasta that you've made. You'll know what real Absolutely. pasta is supposed to taste like. Well, and that is why we go to the restaurant and spend what we spend on a plate of pasta. Now, what I'm doing here, mm -hmm. I know you mentioned this when you introduced us, okay. this is gluten-free pasta. Oh. If you are following a gluten-free diet and you've ever had gluten-free dried pasta from the box, Ew, and you know what I'm talking about. Yep. It's slimy, it has consistency issues. It's kinda weird. It is very different. So how do you make it not weird? You make it fresh. That's the difference. So, so you can buy gluten-free flour. This one happens to be rice-based at okay. the grocery store. Oh. This is not a hard-to-find specialty item at all anymore. Look what Eric's already got. Okay, extruded. now Eric, what are you doing over here? I'm doing a is specialty this pasta. It is. Uh, this is the uh, fettuccine. The fettuccine. Um, it's ground pepper and lemon zest. So now you and all you do is you add those seasonings to the dough to the flour. The, the flour, right. Yes. So the flour that makes the pasta dough that then extrudes it, and now you're adding the flavor to every bite and every morsel of pasta. So you can customize every type of pasta you make. So if it's gluten-free, I mean, perfect. now you can make gluten-free lemon pepper fettuccine. There's no problem adding the lemon and the pepper to my gluten-free flour. Suddenly the world of pasta goes from those couple of it. options that maybe are in the refrigerator section of your grocery, if you're lucky, to the world is the limit for the types of spices you use, for the types of liquids you use. Stephanie, tell me something. So you go right from the pasta maker. You don't have to, like, let it set up or anything. Right to the pot. Nothing. Absolutely. Okay, so, well, here we go. And so, here goes Eric I into the pot. Eric comes flying over my shoulder with You pasta. ask, it happens. Well, and it's so they, much quicker. Look, you just popped it in there. That's, That's when it. you just did. 
Okay. Absolutely. So he made this fresh. It goes into the pot. This is why I told you it comes out of the pasta machine before I can get the water to boil. So most now, days when I house. read a box of pasta, it'll say cook for 13 minutes for al dente. So right. how do I know how to cook this? Uh, it'll cook to about two to three, and it'll float when it's done. Two to three minutes. Minutes. Oh, minutes because it's minutes. fresh. Exactly. Yeah, it doesn't so, have to rehydrate, uh, which is what box pasta has to do. And while you're at it, while you're reading those directions on your box pasta. Read the ingredients for me. I'm scared. Ew. Yeah. Yes, you should be scared. And that is why we're making fresh pasta here. Now, is, is this the premiere of this today? No, we have had this for you before, and I'm glad it's a premiere to you, though. No, no, no. Let me tell you, I am so flipped out by this because at first I thought, yeah, who wants to make pasta at home when you can buy it in a box for $1.59? You are going to want to make pasta at home when you taste the difference between your personalized, fresh, homemade pasta. Because when you go into a fine restaurant, they serve homemade pasta. This is what you get, They're not yes. taking boxes of spaghetti and, and vermicelli and manicotti and farfalle and throwing it from a box. Well, not all restaurants. Some restaurants probably do that, right? But the good ones don't. And that is why, this is why people go to Italy to eat fresh pasta. This is why people pay lots of money to sit down at a restaurant when if you actually analyze the ingredients of what was coming to the restaurant. So tell me, take me through, because there's different color pasta. We What's, can change what things. things. Different, and I, I know the answer because Desiree trained me. Oh, okay. But tell me what the I'll difference is But then I'll tell you again. So you can add turmeric. Eric mentioned that he had added lemon pepper. You can put any spice you want into the dry ingredients of the machine. Oh. I can okay. change my liquids. This is a carrot. So rather than just adding oh. water when I added my liquid, carrot I added juice. carrot juice. Moms, can I tell you, it's a good way to hide vegetables. So, Sneak so up you into use the, the pasta. juice, though. You don't want to take, like, a carrot and, and, and blend Correct. it up. Correct. Correct. Because it'll never get refined enough. And you want it to and be, obviously, to come like out that. Yes. the size of the pasta. Because I'll tell you, what Tiny. separates the Phillips machine from anything else that has been out there is the ease of use and the consistency. Feel that coming out. Is that sticky? No, is that hard it, it's to work not. With? You know what? And I can't, I can't believe how easily separated it is. And if you want to, have a little bit of flour, I think, right? Certainly, you can. Just to keep it from... You, oh, were, look, you even get a cutter. You get a little cutter with it to make it easy. But I want to show you, too, you were mentioning the ones that we had put out here on display. Can I? Is it clean? You good? It's, it's possible. Clear, clear, go clear for it. Linguini? Okay, yeah. go for it. So uh, these are dry. So you can do something fun, like make a day of it, Bill. Just sit here and make pasta. Lay it flat, dry it, maybe add a little flour. Eric wraps them in plastic wrap and freezes it. So you can have fresh pasta whenever you want it. You know, Once you make the switch, you don't go back. I, I wanna, we're going to show you in a minute that the dashboard is very easy to operate, and which means setting it up is going to be a cinch. I don't know if you noticed this. We have this at free shipping today. I guess they did that for me. And it's on five flex <laughs> payments for you at $55.99. And guess what? You're going to get the cookie disc set with this. Plus, I've been holding this. This is like you're buying a professional, um, you know, recipe book separately, and we're including it, and it's going to give you photos of what you're going to be preparing that's going to be coming out of this with instructions how to do it. Every type of pasta imaginable. Am I right? Yes. yes. Did you make me another dinner? <laughs> of <laughs> you course. Get to keep okay. Eating. We have to have this with some Donatella meatballs. And that's coming up next. Okay. the spaghetti you dropped. So Which we have. <laughs> I dropped. Is that a. Is that a that's a good thing. Yes. Is that a chef term? That's a restaurant term. You drop <laughs> you drop your pasta. I, I, you I, didn't I, spill it on the floor. You dropped it into the water. I'm looking on the floor going like. Mush, mush, mush. I didn't <laughs> drop any. Okay, so this is Alfredo sauce? No, this is. What is um, this? This is basically a vinaigrette of olive oil. Lemon juice Ooh, how and Parmesan cheese. That's it. Okay. And one thing that Eric has noticed with us is when we make the the dressings, the sauces for the fresh pasta, yes. you don't need as many ingredients. You don't have to hide the gummy pasta that came out of the box because you want to taste the pasta. And so I'm gonna, gonna tell you something. With three ingredients. If you're gonna extrude your pasta, the one thing I'm learning very quickly here is if you want it to be in smaller pieces, you have to cut it. It's because it's not coming out in like 12 inch sticks like no, it does from a box. We would trim it as it comes <laughs> yes. out, absolutely. Mm. But you'll notice that since mm. we started talking, and he's not mm. gonna be able to talk again because he's gonna be chewing now, we've managed to make three different rounds of pasta in minutes. Absolute minutes. Do you oh, like I the love texture? This. I love lemon and olive oil. It's unbelievable. It's fresh, right? Yeah, and, and then you, did you put something inside the pasta? The pasta was the, the pepper and lemon zest. So it's got a little bit of pepper so and lemon it, zest so in if the you, pasta. Yeah, so if you like lemon. Oh my God, this, this is, is so good. And, and I didn't even have to 
cook the, the pasta when it was done. Like once it was done mm -hmm. in the water, I just put it into a bowl. Right, and so I didn't have Yeah, I didn't have to cook it in a pan. Mm. So you're cooking with one pot. It does become one pot cooking. And remember, anything you decide to add, you add right in here. The Phillips mm. machine is designed so that everything happens here. The mixing, the kneading, and then the extruding. And I want to talk about extruding for a minute. Please do. There is something here called extrusion force. 1,600 pounds of force pushing the dough together and into the shape of our pasta noodle. That is important because if you've ever had a stand mixer, mm -hmm. a lot of people used to make pasta in the stand mixers. You'd have to push. You did yeah. have to push and it was a lot of work. Mm. And also that really impacts the texture. Extrusion force is what makes that pasta not gummy, not doughy, not lumpy, because again, it is pushed together with such force, you get that perfect texture. And I'm, if you ever I had pasta with bad texture, it's not good. I will tell you, this is not like rubbery pasta. I didn't know what to expect about fresh pasta, because quite honestly, I guess I have not lived that lavish life of luxury, <laughs> and that I don't think I've had fresh pasta that many times in my life. I don't think most of us have. But you can. Because I think most of us think it's too complicated, it's too difficult, it's too... Much of a hardship. Absolutely. This is 10 minutes from the machine to the pot. And unless, you know what? You'll make this in as much time as it takes to open a box because it takes 11 to 13 minutes you to make exactly a box right. of pasta. You are exactly And the quality, so much better. Let's talk a minute superior. about what okay. you get when this comes to your Please house. First of all, everything made with that Philips <clears throat> quality that we have come to know and love, non-stick finish, so easy to clean. The front comes right off, and then I can pull off my disc. So four different discs will come to you. A disc to make your fettuccine, a disc to make your spaghetti, a disc to make your penne pasta, which we will be showing you in just a minute, and a disc to make a flat noodle, such as lasagna, that you can then cut into ravioli, that you could then roll up into little purses. Again, you can become so creative now. So the four discs, it also comes with two cleaning tools. This is where Phillips thinks of absolutely everything. Number one question. Is this machine impossible to clean? No, because what Philips has done is given us these little discs so that if I pop this in the freezer for, say, five minutes, mm -hmm. dry out any of the dough, this fits right on top and pop. Anything that I have used oh, dough-wise pops the dough out of the little pops holes. right out. Right, because you don't want to be sitting there scraping and poking and doing things like that. So it comes with the two cleaning discs. Everything that you see here fits in this drawer, which slides into the front of the machine. So everything tucks away in this neat little profile. This is not one of those appliances that's going to have pieces and parts all over your kitchen. Okay, that drives me, me I've nuts. Gotta, I've got to make this really, really clear for all of you that are watching. If you just tuned in, this is the Philips amazing, amazing pasta maker that we have offered pasta makers in the past I want you to remove everything you know about making pasta at home and Phillips has mastered it here the price break saves them a hundred it saves you rather hundred and twenty dollars then the free shipping then another eighteen dollars okay which is another eighteen dollars on top of the price because if you were to buy this at retail yeah you're over four hundred dollars for $279.95 we have it on five flex payments for $55.99 we're including the cookie discs and I can't wait to see that. But first, I love rigatoni and I love uh, penne pasta. Oh, you're a tubular guy. I <laughs> <laughs> Flashback to the 80s there. <laughs> okay. I never thought of pasta that way. But I like it because it holds a little bit of sauce inside. Absolutely. So <laughs> here is our right. penne disc. And you can see it's coming out the perfect tube shape. Talk about a consistency and a perfect texture that it holds this shape. Love it. As it's extruded. I love it too. This and is one of my it favorites. Doesn't, it doesn't collapse. No, not at all. You, I keep waiting for this to like collapse and then you've got like a big flat, you know, ridged or ruffled piece of pasta, but exactly. it leaves the tube. Nope, it does leave your tube. And again, your cutting tool comes <laughs> with it for anything that you want to trim off the top. So but really, then you can throw this in your boiling water. We've made it with beef, carrot juice. We've added some oh, spices. Look, again, as creative as you want to be. Now, can you let these dry out and store them or do you have to refrigerate or freeze them? Absolutely, you can dry them out. What you oh. see here is that we have feel, nests okay, that Okay, and then what dried. do you do? Do you bag it? You, yep. So you dry it out, you bag it. Or and we store wrap this. them in plastic wrap. Yep, we, but you can leave it in the cupboard. You can leave it in the freezer. In the freezer. In the freezer. Okay. If you don't use egg, go ahead and leave it in your cupboard.
But if you're using egg, right. I would put it in the freezer because, because it will spoil. I could see making like a Sunday pasta day where you want to make enough exactly. for like a month. Exactly. Yeah. And make it and make it like for little bags. Because like if you made like, look at this bird's nest of pasta. So if you made this, you could put this as a portion for like two people. The one that I'm holding, this is the carrot flavor. If right, you and that's to do a it. double batch there, what you're looking at. Okay, it's a double batch so for two good. people. So that's good. That's two pounds two of pasta. Two or more. Absolutely, two or probably more. more. For me, it's probably like one and a half. <laughs> okay, and you put it in like a, you know, a, a zipper bag and you freeze it. And then you know what? When you want fresh, homemade, delicious pasta, You've got it with your taste buds, you know, addressed. Because I like turmeric, I like curry. That's what you that is. You can add it all. Here, do okay. this for me. I want you to show, show them everybody me? how easy it is. No, I just what, are, put, what are we doing I here? just put a double batch of flour in. Okay. So we're going to make a flat noodle like we'd use for lasagna. We can cut it for ravioli. You're adding the liquid. Again, Phillips gives you that great clear lid so you can see exactly what's going on inside. And I'm I doing, love the slant and I'm doing this into why? the slits because that's the liquid that we need to hold the pasta together. It's designed to evenly distribute so that you don't have to worry about it and you can't mess it up the machine oh. is taking care of everything so that way you don't over like you pour don't the do water anything and have lumps. wrong and have lumps or okay. things like that and you know what else hmm. phillips has made it so it's goof proof measuring the measuring cup comes with it the dry measuring cup comes with it they have left nothing to chance so that absolutely anybody can make fresh pasta you know what the last time that stephanie and eric and i got together out here during a show was with our air fryer today special and they sold out there are 420 of these, I think, 400, no, 420 of these left. And Louise from Florida just ordered one, and she used FlexPay, and she has the HSN card. Hi, Louise. Welcome to HSN. Are you watching this, and are you loving this machine? Louise, you're live on the program. Are you there? Oh, it's uh, Joan. Yeah. It's Joan. Can you hear me? Joan, is Joan. it Joan? Joan. Yeah. Hey, Bill. They How are you? I'm they... from Winter. Yeah, I'm, I'm waving at you from Winter Haven here. So, yeah, Aww. I was watching you earlier. <laughs> I was watching you earlier uh, with the meatballs, and I was getting hungry. And so oh. I was sitting here, and I thought, I'm Italian, and I like to do this, and I'm sick and tired of buying food with GMOs, and I really like this. I've always wanted a pasta machine, so I think it's a great value, and um, yeah, I'm ready for it. So. Yeah, I just wanted to say hi. I've wanted to talk to you for a long time, but I love HSN, and I love your stuff, and I just can't wait to get this to start making some pasta. Good stuff. Well, I'll tell you, I'm, I, Stephanie and Eric are out here, and believe me when I tell you that Phillips is what's making it easy for them. Because Absolutely. when I tell you, all you do is you add flour, water, seasoning, and boom. And, 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 oh, I know. Because yeah, you can't make this stuff up. It's a live television show. <laughs> and you know what? It's coming oh, out. Know. It's coming out flawlessly. Well, I want you to enjoy yours, Joan. Happy Customer Thanks, Appreciation Joe. Month, honey. Absolutely. You too. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks, you. Bye. Joan. You know why I love this? What? I call this the your pantry cleaner-upper. Okay. Because <laughs> and you know how oh. you always have leftover spices, dry spices? Yes. You can now get creative, and you can use, you can use this right in there. So what are some of the flavors, or is it just like limitless? It's, it's, it's limitless. as limited as your imagination. Yeah. So, so you, you can make, you, go ahead, give us an card, example. You could use cardamom if you want. Uh, ground coriander, I would love. Ooh. Uh, I, Smoked paprika couple, we like. Uh, yes. Yeah, oh, we, I made one in the is, kitchen. Is wonderful. I was making one during my little training. We made a paprika pasta. And it has a great flavor, yeah, doesn't I it? Yeah, I love paprika. Now, what is this? This is what you just made. Oh, this is am parsley. I pasta sheets oh, stuffed look at with this. ricotta. Right, so those are the ones that we did earlier. Now, yours will be coming out momentarily, but you can see what you can do with a flat sheet of pasta. Ravioli. It is as easy as can be to cut it into squares, put a little ricotta inside, seal it up, and you're good to go. No, you probably thought that was hard to make. You know what? I would never think to make ravioli so at home. So easy. Because I would think it would take too long and it would be something that I would make a mistake at. I'd be afraid that if I was making it for guests, I'd mess it up. Look what and you look, did, Bill. You did this. There you it did is. This. So how long ago did you put that liquid in? Maybe two, three minutes? Mm. We're already seeing the extrusion. Look, it's coming out ready for you to stuff and cook. Or just cook and put into a lasagna. Mm -hmm. And the texture oh, this of is this, delish. isn't it a little bit lighter, you would say? Mm. It doesn't leave that kind of, Eric always calls it that weight in yeah, your stomach. Yeah, the weight stomach. in the stomach. Mm. Fresh pasta doesn't have mm. that heaviness to it. Because... Oh, is, is this goat cheese? No, it's just ricotta cheese. This is unbelievable. <laughs> ricotta cheese with some herbs. Okay, so I So think tell of, you. like, the leftovers that you will have in your refrigerator. Now you have a use for it. Mm. Whether you put it inside your ravioli, whether you saute it. Like, a couple weeks ago, I made uh, mm. some mint tagliatelle mm -hmm. with our, our one of our upsell discs right. and made a lamb ragu. 
and it was delicious. So now this is mixing only because it's keeping it like homogenized. Right. And then it's extruding. Now, should you be on the other side of this doing anything or can you be? You can. You so, can trim it as it goes. You can let it go. Eric and I have stretched one table here. to table before just to so see how fun it was. Let me come to the front here. I got to help out. <laughs> I feel like I'm not doing enough. If you have okay. kids, if you have grandkids, mm. they love this. Yeah. My kids absolutely flip when we break this out because they, they want to hang, they want to be underneath it while the pasta is, is uh, coming so out. So look, I'm going to make this into, ra into ravioli sheets. Do I need a knife? Yeah, you could use a knife. Okay, so I should use a knife. And look, you know, it's not sticking, which is great. Oh, look at this. How easy. Then the other option you could do, Bill, is you leave it like this. And you place your filling and you just fold it over like that. Oh, and you, I just thought of a great idea. Let's hear it. Slice meatballs ravioli. Uh, you could. Donatella's you meatballs. could put anything you want in it. You and can't you, be too You know creative. what? You stuff them. You make little pocket purses. You put the Donatella meatballs inside one of these. Let me show you up close. And then you just put it into the pasta sauce and you're done. I mean, how easy is that? Eric's gonna show us how to make those. Okay, now listen, <laughs> if you're jo joining us, there are like 250 left with everybody ordering. Free shipping, this is the premiere for me because I've never done this, and it's already a customer pick. It's from Philips, it is a pasta maker with the, keep telling me, cookie disc. I wanna see cookies. I, as you were speaking, I was okay. gonna put you to work again oh, from the front. What is this? So these are the cookie discs, and we put this one out with the rainbow. You can see then you just oh. bake and decorate the ends of them as you'd wish, because think of what you have here. You have something that mixes, you have something that kneads, you have something that extrudes, and you can use it to roll rather than roll. We're extruding out your cookie dough. Aren't these Italian so, cookies? Exactly. What do they call Isn't these? Isn't that the name fun, Eric? Do you know the official name? Know. Pa uh, pa Papa Riddell? I think there's a name no, that's for That's a pasta, so, but... <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. But okay. regardless... I want to taste one of these. You are able to make the mm. cookies with everything being mixed inside mm. here. You can ice, you can decorate, mm. you can do whatever you'd like. And this is the added bonus with the pasta maker. So pasta and cookies, does it get any more fun for the kids? You know, also, you can cut out the sugar. Like, if you're a diabetic and you're not allowed to have sugar, uh, you're not allowed to have too much dough because they say carbohydrates turn into sugar. But you can use sugar substitutes to make your own homemade cookies. Absolutely. Exactly. You that, can be that, as creative. That's all you had to tell me. <laughs> I, love, I love the control that you have with this. You uh -huh. control the ingredients. You know exactly what's mm. in it. So take control of what goes into your body because I'm at that age where I'm starting to really control. And Well, you and, have to watch it because after it 40, it doesn't matter. You look. I look at food and I'm on the IC diet. And this, <laughs> I makes, see it, it, I gain weight. this <laughs> makes it a family affair. It's so easy to use. The Phillips machine does the work and you can be creative with your family in the kitchen. Okay, well listen, this has been a blast. If you're ordering, you've got one. If not, you might miss out on it. Remember, it's free shipping for the show today. If you were to go out to retail to try to order the Phillips pasta machine, you'd miss out on it, okay? At this price, for sure, because they wouldn't have it. We also have a cookbook. Go to hsn.com and check it out. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Eric. Thank you so Stay much. Stay tuned for Thank our today's you. special and best